Carrie Lendo. I sell vintage online, so Etsy, eBay, Poshmark, Instagram, Carrie's Thriftopia, Carrie's underscore Thriftopia. I have an unboxing today. I bought a mystery lot of jewelry. It's not true mystery. It was unsorted jewelry from Goodwill. And so there was a picture of it. I could see some of the pieces. There were some interesting little dog pieces, some little dachshund pieces, not dash at home, like I used to say, dachshund pieces. I think I spent like $150. I don't know, some of these pieces might be broken, is what I'm trying to say. It said unsorted. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what falls loose first. We got a ring, which looks like it's not damaged. No hallmarks. Uh, do, 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 do. Just a little sparkly ring. Anyway, we're between 25 and 40. I'll do a little research. Okay, we got a little pendant marked Thailand with, I think these are fake. Oh, the turquoise looks real. I think these are just little fake little gem stones, but I have a lot of chains. This is good. Make use of some of my chains. Oh, these little see we got just a plain old ring this actually might be flatware i don't know if you've ever seen this um there's a lot of like jewelry i think it's done a lot in mexico it's just like flat so it's really like, super flatware that's been turned into um jewelry this looks like it might be it because it kind of looks like it was joined and there is maybe it says 925 and it looks like there might be a hallmark to investigate it, it was one of those tiny little circles like this I guess this is sterling silver. I mean, it's a test of sterling everything, but this is definitely, obviously it's gold tone, but you know, it could just be painted, sterling silver painted. Looks like real amber. I feel like amber can be cheap. I mean, people, there's some like fake amber, but amber is not that expensive. I mean, there's some amber that is depending on the quality, but you can buy like low quality. Okay, here's just another band. I do really well with just plain old bands. Just a little sterling ring. So I think we're doing pretty good so far. I think. Definitely gonna make my money. I can probably make my money back with four four rings and that necklace easily, twenty five a piece. Which I'll probably do more than twenty five on the bands. This is it says Chapel Stir. I'll have to look at what Chapel is. I mean, it might just be a chapel. I mean, it's obviously it's some kind of Christian. I need to. Um, so I'll put this on a chain. And sometimes crosses do well. Sometimes they don't. That was a little bigger than some. So I think it'll it'll do okay. We got another ring that's broken and. Which, it's not too bad of a break. You can see it right there. I probably won't, I'll probably put it, I have a bunch of broken jewelry and I should do a start, just a sterling jewelry lot of broken jewelry. These say Anna Witt Valley. I'll have to look her up, I'm not familiar. Just some little abalone, I do love abalone. I don't know how popular, it's, it's moderately popular, but it is very common. What else? Let's do this big guy. This is just the thick old sterling chain. This is nice, kind of choker length, marked Italy. You can put, put some, I'll probably just sell that. I don't, I don't like putting charms or pendants on these thicker ones. Oh, we got just a really big, really big Star Trek-esque brooch, but it does have, it's kind of unique, that little jewel right there. This seems like it should have a maker. I don't know what that says. Ooh, this is fun. Little elephant ring. Just another band. I'm happy with all these rings I'm getting. Rings are easy to photograph, list, easy to sell. No maker's mark, but uh, yeah. Real solid. Oh, it says R. Real solid piece. Oh, here's one of the many dogs I saw. This little doggy. And we got right next to him. Let's just jump into it. Another little doggy. This one's a little. And a bloodhound, basset hound, long ear, just a sterling, no maker's mark on this, but love a dog piece, I love dogs, I love selling dog stuff. And there's a market, people also love dogs. All right, this is kind of a cool, oh, it's a bracelet. Mm. I'll have to look at what this charm is. Oh, this looks familiar, like a pearl. Is it real? I'm gonna put it on my teeth. I have a fake tooth up here. I can't, I don't know, I acted like I knew, I don't know. This is a little pearl. Pearl bracelet with a big old chunky sterling charms. All tangled, 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 tangled. There's so many pieces here. I can't believe I won this for so, as cheap as I did. A broken necklace, but I can probably, as you see, 
If that was just, if that just was stuck. But that pendant's interesting. I could honestly just put that on a different chain, even if it wasn't broken. It'd probably be cuter on another chain. It's just like a little, I think that's real turquoise and um, maybe some quartz, some pink quartz. Bars. Bars was big, uh, big in the 80s, 90s. They do a lot of turquoise and some faux turquoise. All right, so I'm not mad about that. Even though it's broken, it's easy to fix. Here's another cross. No maker's mark, but it's like a very modernist. We'll sell, I mean, if there's a bunch of crosses in here, maybe I'll just sell a lot of crosses to save myself some time. Cause I do have a lot of crosses up that aren't selling. Come on, people who love the Lord and or goths. Okay, this is just a really big, chunky kind of men's ring. Not that a woman couldn't wear it. I say men's because it's a larger size. But uh, it's interesting. Nice kind of brutalist 90s, almost stamped 103. So I'll have to look that up. This is a loose earring here. It was just a bracelet, a very tiny bracelet. with a little cute though. It's marked 925. It's got little... Um, Little stones on it, little rhinestones. We'll see. I mean, some races sometimes do well, sometimes they don't. I haven't really picked up a rhyme or reason. Here is a not marked necklace. This chain's a little busted. I don't know if I can sell this chain. This might go in the scrap lot. But this cute, cute little bead. Boo, 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 boo. So maybe I'll put that bead on something else or just. I might just put the whole thing in this, this scrap lot. Here's one of these. I've never been able to sell. This is, well, actually this one I might be able to sell. This is a little different. Okay, what I'm trying to say is it's a little kind of belly dancer type bracelet, which I think will work. I had one similar and that's why I was kind of like, ugh, but this one's actually cooler. So it's just a little jingly jangly. Ugh, I'm doing so well. I mean, I think I'm gonna, Probably make at least a thousand off this or more. Okay, this is really cute and good shape. I wasn't sure what kind of good shape stuff was gonna be in. This is just kind of like a fun, geometric, tribal, the necklace. Not marked, but hey, interesting looking enough. Both a liquid silver. Liquid silver are these beads you see a lot in Native American pieces and Southwestern pieces that are just like silver tube beads. This is a little liquid silver necklace. Um, liquid silver necklaces do, they're kind of all over the place depending on how ornate they are. You know, the bigger the, I've had some sell fast and some not. This is, I don't know. That one's pretty middle of the road in terms of value. These are earth, of earth and ocean. It had handcrafted hand jewelry from a Wellfleet studio on Cape Cod. This is a little touristy beat. Ran out of memory, but we're back in the game. We got, this one's cool. I saw this in the photo, I was like, okay, I'm in. This is a, just kind of a Southwestern style necklace. I'm not gonna say Native American, cause it's not marked. And there's no markings, but it's the Santo Domingo in inlay is what that kind of like geometric smooth inlay is called. And uh, yeah, it's got some malachite. I don't know what this red, dark red one is. Interesting, some other pearl. Really pretty, really chunky. I think that'll do well. Nice, unique. Oh, we got a little penguin. We got a little rhinestone penguin. I don't know how well he'll do. He looks kind of cheap, but um, you know, we'll put him up there. We'll see what we do. This is just a starfish brooch. It reads sterling. So no maker's mark. Ow, I just spoke to myself. It is it's just a classic little piece. I don't know. And uh, if there's a few pins, we'll put them all together a lot. Here, this is a really good piece. It is marked just 925. Nothing on this side. It's just a chunky old bracelet. This is good. It's a nice unisex sex piece. Boop. God, this will, I probably will wash. I don't always wash silver because I like it more dull, but this is just a big braided chunky chain, but it's a little too dark to uh, sell on its own. We got a locket that I assume is sterling, covered in gold. Okay, I always think lockets should do, oh yeah, it's marked 925 RSE. I always think lockets should do better than they do, because I think they're fun, I think they're cute gifts. Boys, buy your sweet, or girls, buy your sweethearts a gift. Nothing in it, but just, you can put something in it, put your picture of, you know, Brendan Fraser 
what is oh this is a ring this is a ring it's a fun little ring that um little kind of brutalist style Ugh. It's, it's once once it's untangled it fits and we, we don't have time there's so much jewelry to go through a little ring but those are good i've sold those a nice statement ring oh this is fun i think i saw this in the preview photo i'm just gonna leave these guys tangled together okay this is two pieces not connected we got this ladybug pin and then this little bracelet. You're like, why is she doing this video and she can't focus? I do well with these pieces. This is like a, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I might just try to resell this locally because it's sterling. It's got this big rhinestone. I think maybe I'll try to sell it, but I don't have much faith in it. It's just like a kind of little 90s Western piece, but for some reason, whenever they're on cord like that, they just don't do well. This is a necklace that says St. Christopher and on a nice, really thick sterling chain. So that hopefully do well. Sometimes religious stuff does well, sometimes it doesn't. This is ATI Mexico, which is a very, very popular and prolific Mexican um, silver. This is cute, it's a dragonfly with some abalone. Next, we have a third dog piece. Man, somebody, ooh, it's Taxco too. TR-153 is the maker. So the first letter is the town, Taxco. Sometimes it'll be M for Mexico City. And R is the first letter of the maker's last name. And 153 is when they were registered. Uh, I, they were the 153rd person with the last name R who lived in Taxco who was a silver maker. And so it's a little dog piece. It's got a fun little collar on. That'll definitely sell very quickly. Ooh, this one still has the tag on. Tarnished Free Silver by FMC. It's just a real shiny piece. Is there... I forget what this is called. There's a name for this type of cross, which I will flash on the screen. Stick this on a chain, maybe one of these chains. Maybe I'll stick it on this chain. Although, like I said, I don't like sticking stuff on these chunky chains. I like the way they look. I mean, certain kind of pendant. This is stamped. It has a name. Oh boy, it probably does not say the Palo Romba. It looks like Palo and then R-O-M-B-O. -O. I'll put what the correct thing is. We got another FMC. The prices are, I'll try to figure, I don't, Somebody sharpied out the price, but it's just a little choker type necklace. Kind of cute, but kind of simple. Sometimes it's hard to list simple things. Here is a bracelet. This should do well. I like the kind of age and thickness on it. This is nice. It's nice, heavy. Even though, I mean, it's not heavy. It's, it's big, but it's hollow. <laughs> there but you can see it's kind of like hollowed out uh, no maker's mark but love a big chunk I like the age on it too I'm not gonna shine that looking at this one my camera died and I was deleting photos it's a little whale no whale it's a fish or is it a whale I think it's a fish and there's no maker's mark this looks very Mexican though like Mexican modernist era but I don't know he's got he's got a little inlay on him too Oh, this, I think this is the necklace that matches. These are inner, oh, no, they're not. This is just a really short chain. I guess I'll sell this. I might put, maybe put a necklace on it. It's really short. It has to be a choker or a children's chain. Let's see if I can even get it around my neck. This matches the bracelet. So I'll sell that as a set. That's nice. Just a little rhinestone piece. Keep her going. This is, this is, must be an anklet. It's a very big kind of rope rope style sterling chain. Here's another one of these chains I don't like. I just don't think the style is cool. Let's see if any of these earrings have mates. Oh, this is just, a, I don't do well with these. I have, an, I have a necklace that says mom. That has not been selling. I don't know where the light is. Okay, so there's just a little charm that says mom. Little sterling rhinestone pieces. Are they diamonds? They're probably not diamonds. If, maybe they are diamonds. I don't have a tester, so I don't like to sell them as diamonds. These match. Okay, we got some hoops. I do well with hoops. This is just, I like, I mean, these aren't super special hoops. They're literally just kind of small hoops, but like I said, very easy to list because I've sold them before. I did not say that earlier. I'm not doing it repeated. And now we have some loose earrings, which 
I sometimes sell lots of studs, so I could do that. Although the ones dangle, we got this kind of like copper color ball. We got another sparkly one. Maybe these are all just probably because I'm lazy and just a loose hoop. Yes, yeah, so this is from the Goodwill auction site. It's hard to win. Most of the time they're not mystery. It's They usually have a photo, but they do have some unsorted or just grab bag. So those can be good. I don't see a lot. Most of them are like costume joy. I don't see a lot that are sterling kind of that are just like an unsorted thing. So that, I don't know, some, they could have made more money for sure on their end if they would have sorted some of this. Uh, even if they just put all the rings together, that would have probably made more than $100. I mean, people usually bid on the ring lots, like a few hundred. <sighs> I'm done. I have to go do other boring work. Thanks for watching. Follow me on my social platforms, on YouTube, on Twitter, all that stuff. And thanks for watching and I'll be back soon.